Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is not makeup related despite the fact that I'm wearing a full beat. It's not. Today's video is going to be the 10 things I won't miss about being fat. Now, this video is presumptuous in a couple of ways. Uh, it's presumptuous because it's assuming I do lose the weight, which I will. And it's also presumptuous because not everyone experiences all of these. So this just like as a disclaimer, these are like my experiences for the most part, like my opinions. Um, but yeah, and I thought it would be better if I made this video now as someone who is still fat as opposed to someone who's lost the weight because I just feel like it's almost traffic. Um, I feel it's almost condescending, you know, if I came on here after I had lost the weight and been like, oh my god, the 10 things I don't miss about being fat. Like, I just think that would be stupid, so... So I'm doing it now. I feel like my phone is about to pop out of the tripod. There we go. I am in my room, like just sitting on the floor. So, um, and I do have notes because um, I tend to forget things. Um, <clears throat> and these are things that I either experience now or maybe I experienced in the past. Um, and these may not apply to all fat people. Like I said, these my experiences and also I just want to throw it out there that fat is not a bad word so we'll start number one is chub rub rashes like skin boils like you get the gross stuff now I do want to like kind of put it out there that like even after losing weight if you have loose skin sometimes rashes can be an issue but specifically speaking of things that are caused by being overweight or fat um are those things now they can happen for a number of different reasons. Most of the time it's like friction, like skin, like folds, you know, you know, I, I don't need to explain it to you, but I'm not gonna mess that. It doesn't happen to me often. Um, I don't really get chub rub like in my thighs because I don't wear dresses ever, like ever. Um, but I do get rashes every now and then, mainly in the summer when it's hot. Like no matter how much good hygiene you have, sometimes these things just happen, but I'm not gonna miss that. The second thing I am not going to miss about being fat are the clothing options. Now, I feel like they've gotten a little better over the years, but not much. Um, if you go to some place like Walmart or JCPenney or whatever, department stores, um, the plus size section uh, is what I like to call like the old lady section. I know that's ageist. Um, but the clothes are very frumpy. There's a lot of floral patterns. Um, so a lot of times the jeans have like the elastic waistband. Like it's not, they're, it's not cute clothes. Now I will say Meyer, if you live in the Midwest, it's kind of like a Walmart, but like I would say a slightly higher end. Their stuff's more expensive, but they recently, like within the last couple of years have changed their clothing section to be inclusive. So whether you're in the women's department, whether you're in the juniors department, they go up to 3x. Now I realize that may not be accommodating for every person who's overweight or fat, but it's a little better than other stores because you, you get more options, I feel like, and you don't have to go to a separate section to find your size, which is nice. So, but I even find with like um some of the smaller like online boutiques, they go up to like an extra large, maybe. Um, so sometimes that's hard. And then you have stores like Torrid, where it's, again, it's a lot of floral, in my opinion, like a lot. And then they're kind of pricey. Like, obviously, for some people, their prices are nothing. But for some people who are just average, I feel like they're kind of expensive. Like, they have sales and stuff, but still kind of pricey. So the third thing is how hard the simplest things can be when you're fat or overweight. Um, for example, bending down to tie your shoes or bending down to paint your toenails. Now, obviously this is different for everybody, but for me personally, I do have a stomach um, and it's not impossible to do. And like, I can get in different positions to like get the job done, but like, it shouldn't be that hard. Do you know what I mean? Like it's fucking tying your shoes. You shouldn't get out of breath tying your shoes, but alas, here I am being fat. Um, and then just like, <clears throat> The number four thing I will not miss about being fat is not fitting into places or spaces, specifically out in public. For example, 
stadium seating, like the plastic chairs are not very accommodating at all. They're just not. Um, sometimes theater seating, depending on where you go, excuse me, like movie theater seating. Uh, amusement park rides is another one. Oh, and the other thing with movie theaters that like always gets me anxious about being fat is when you are trying to get to a seat and there's people on the way, so you have to like scoot past them as a fat person. Mm -mm. Hate it. Don't like it at all. So yeah, I'm not going to miss any of that. Like actually one of the things I'm looking forward to when I lose the weight is going to amusement parks because I avoid them right now. I can't, I was probably in middle school the last time I went to one. Like, my kids have never gone to one. We don't go to fairs, like, because I just, just saying. Ah, uh, number five. Now, none of these are in a specific order, I should say. I should have said. But number five is probably the one that gets me, like, one of the ones that gets me going is, the thing I'm not going to miss about being fat is that the idea that being fat and not hating your body means you're promoting obesity. Like, how dare I exist as a fat person and not hate the way I look? Now, do I love the way I look? Obviously not. I know I'm unhealthy. I wish I could fit into better clothes. Like, there's a reason I'm having surgery. But that doesn't invalidate me as a... It shouldn't invalidate me as a person just because I'm fat. Like, I, I shouldn't feel bad because I don't hate myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I could go further into this like another video, but that's one thing I'm not going to miss is society telling me that because I don't hate my body, I'm promoting obesity. It That's not okay. Haha, <laughs> number six. I think this one's, I just threw this one out because I thought it was kind of funny. Um, For me, at least, it's, um, are my boobs real? <laughs> uh, When I was in high school, I was a l just a little lighter than I am now, like about 300 pounds when I... Um, got to my highest and I lost about a hundred on Weight Watchers and like my boobs shrunk significantly and now I've had kids since then like so who knows how my fats redistributed but it's like are they real you know what I mean like are they gonna go away and then it's like aren't my boobs just fat anyway it's like what determines when someone gets to keep boobs or not like what determines what keeps that fat there do you know what I mean I'm not going to miss, oh, that's not a good one for this list, is it? It has nothing to do with the things I'm not going to miss. Regardless. Ugh. Number seven. I am not going to miss being out of shape. Now, disclaimer, not every fat person's out of shape and not every skinny person's in shape. But for me, I'm not going to miss being out of shape. I'm not going to miss walking up a flight of stairs and being completely out of breath. It's embarrassing, it's sad, kind of pathetic, but I'm not gonna miss it. Um, I know there are some people who get the weight loss surgery or who just eat better, whatever, um, and they don't exercise. And that's fine, that's your prerogative, like I'm not your mom. But to me, it's like if you're going to, especially with weight loss surgery, go through such a big step to lose the weight as to have surgery why not be as healthy as possible because weight or I'm sorry exercise is not just for weight loss it's great for your body cardiovascular cardiovascular health just like everything it's so good for your health to exercise it's not just for losing weight so I'm not gonna miss being out of shape number eight as a fat person I'm not gonna miss eating in front of people. And what I mean is, I feel like sometimes as someone who is overweight, one of two things can happen when you eat in front of people. Say I'm eating a salad, right? I'll either hear, actually, ironically, I hear a couple different things. Either someone says something along the lines of, well, that's not gonna do you any good, you're still fat, or clearly eating salad isn't working or whatever, something like that. Or I hear, oh, you can eat more than a salad. It's like, either you want me to eat healthy or you don't. Or if I'm eating something that's not healthy, then you get the comments that's like, well, no wonder you're fat. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, can't I just eat in peace? Like, why do you care what goes in my mouth? It, You don't hear, okay, this isn't true. I'll take that back because I know skinny people hear it too. People who are really thin also hear like the kind of the opposite where it's like, why aren't you eating more or go eat a cheeseburger? Why do people care? 
what others eat, I guess is kind of what I'm wondering. Like, stop. Number nine, this one um, I might take a little more time with. Um, uh, it's kind of like dating, sex, that kind of thing. Now, obviously I'm not dating, but I will speak to on when I was dating before I was married. Um, obviously this is something I already don't have to deal with, but if I was single, the thing I would not miss about being fat with dating is a couple of different things. One, either you run across guys who just straight up don't like fat girls. They're not shy about it. They're like, I don't do fat girls. And it's like, okay, cool. Or <laughs> you find the guys who fetishize you and it's like, oh, I'm really into big girls. And like, it's a turn on for them. And like, that's fine that you're into that. But like, I don't want you to want me because I'm fat. Or I don't want you to not want me because I'm fat. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want that to be a factor. I mean, sadly it is. With dating, it's... I see it on TikTok all the time, girls who, like I said, either run across guys who will talk to them and then they find out they're big and they're like, oh no. Or the guys who like really make it weird. You know what I mean? Like sexualize it and it, it's just weird. Um, oh, the other thing with that are the guys who, and this happened to me when I was single, was the guys who'll say that they're not into fat girls but will secretly hit you up in your DMs because they don't want anyone to know. Like, I'm not a secret. I'm not something you can hide. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna be ashamed, don't even fucking talk to me, let alone try to fuck me. Speaking of sex, um, and obviously this is something I'm not gonna relate to, I wanna disclaimer this by saying, fat people can have great sex lives just as thin people can. I can attest to this. However, there are some cave caveats with being overweight and your sex life. Like I said, this is not everyone's experiences, but it's pretty common. Um, one, if you are someone who struggles with confidence, um, being overweight, I personally don't a ton every now and then. Um, but having sex is, you're very vulnerable, you're naked. Um, so that can be like a really hard struggle for people who are overweight. For me, when it comes to sex and being overweight or fat, or is more so like the positions. Um, we're getting TMI, it's fine. I'm a sex positive person. I don't mind talking about it if it makes you uncomfortable or if you know me in real life and you don't wanna hear this, you can stop watching, it's fine. But positions can be really hard when you're overweight. Um, a lot of women are very uncomfortable getting on top. And the running joke is <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Um, but still, it can be uncomfortable. For me personally, I have very, very, very thick thighs. So sometimes it's hard to like, straddle properly you know what I mean um and it's just kind of uncomfortable and I don't and then I don't feel confident and then I don't feel sexy because I physically am not comfortable so that sucks um and then like you know you can't okay this isn't true of everybody but for the most part you can't just be picked up and thrown against a wall I mean there are some guys who probably could but it's not as easy and like yeah in general standing sex is almost always a no-go just in general being fat, I'm not going to miss that in my sex life. I want to be more adventurous. I want to fucking get on top when I want to and not, you know, <clears throat> get out of breath, basically. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's embarrassing and, yeah. And even though Alex has no problem with me being overweight, like, he wants me to be healthy, but he loves me the way I am, it, it still, I know, would improve our sex life when I lose the weight. So number 10 is... Probably the most common thing that people hear or go through, and it's something I'm not going to fucking miss, are rude comments from people. Period. It's this thing I don't understand. I'm going to shut my computer because that was the last one. I don't need it anymore. But um, I don't understand why people care so much about someone else's body. That goes into other, th other opinions I have, but we're not going to like get political. But like... Why do you, why do you have to comment on someone's body? If you don't like the way I look, don't fucking look at me. You know what I mean? Like, just trying to tear someone down because they're overweight is, first of all, I've always said this, making fat jokes or calling someone fat, it's like, that's so unoriginal, you know? Like, why are you stating the fucking obvious? I know I'm fat. Everyone else knows I'm fat. Like, it, 
it doesn't hurt my feelings, but it hurts a lot of people's feelings. Like, why is that necessary? You know what I mean? And even if they're not trying to be rude or trying to be mean, then there's the opposite side where it's like, I'm just coming from a good place. I, I just want you to be healthy. How about we just not comment on other people's bodies, period? Well, the, there's a fly. Whether the person is fat or whether the person is thin, why do you need to comment on someone else's bodies? I'm not going to miss that. Now, will I still experience that when I'm thin? Maybe. You know, maybe I'll get to a point where people are like, ooh, you're getting too thin. And then it's just like, why do you care? Like, it's my body. Because, like, the truth of the matter is, it's they don't care about your health. They're just saying that so they don't sound like an asshole. But at the end of the day, they're just being an asshole. Anyways, I know, like, that one was not necessarily something I'm not going to miss. The boob thing was more of just a joke. But that was like nine or ten things that I'm not going to miss about being fat. If you are someone who is overweight and you want to change it, I'm not saying you need to change it. I, You know what I mean? Like, once again, it's not my body. But if you are someone who's overweight and has lost weight or is losing weight or is going to lose weight, what is something that you won't miss about being fat or you don't miss about being fat? Leave it down below in the comments. Give this video a like. Let me know if you like this kind of, I don't know what you would call this video. Like I, my channel is kind of a hodgepodge of things, obviously makeup, but I am bringing my weight loss journey into it and sometimes my mental health journey as well. So if you want more weight loss related videos, if there's something specific you want me to talk about, um, other lists like this you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do it. I love doing videos like this where my makeup's already done and not have to focus on that. Um, or I don't have makeup on at all because that, I mean, it is what it is. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was kind of random, um, but I thought some of them were kind of funny. But <clears throat> I could have gone into more detail with some of them, but, you know, I feel like some of them could have had their own conversations their own topics, their own videos, and maybe down the road I will. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave for more content like this, or if you're into makeup, or if you dislike me. I don't know, I'm kidding. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.